Hey y'all, it's Zach, the legal tech advisor here at Lawyerist. Today I'd like to show you around LawPay. Now, I'm sure most of you have already heard of LawPay. Some of you might even have a bit of experience with it. For this demonstration though, I'd like to show you around a bit so you can just get a quick look inside. So here we are initially at our dashboard and I'm in test mode right now because I don't need to uh, run any actual transactions. But here we are at your dashboard and it gives you an idea of what's going on with, with everything, um, with all the transactions, with all the bills that have been paid. One of the things that I wanna point out first is if you go to your profile, and this is something I think you should do absolutely immediately, is over here is verify a multi-factor authenticator. Now, the best way to do this is to use a multi-factor authenticator instead of just a SMS two-factor authentication. But either way you do it, this has client data, this has access to monies, this is sensitive information. You absolutely should turn on multi-factor authentication and it should be pretty much the first thing you do. Now, let's get to the guts of this. So one of the features that LawPay has come out with recently is this card vault, and it allows you to save your client's credit cards on file. And that's a convenience to them. It allows you to charge your client's credit card without them having to come in and put their, their card into your bill and run it that way. Obviously, there are some um, steps that you want to take in order to make sure that you're able to charge. And if you're going to charge on a monthly basis, you're going to want to make sure that you, you deal with the appropriate regulations dealing with notice to them. But this is a convenience issue. And you can see that we save credit cards here. And this person, Dustin Hare, has multiple cards on file. You can manage the cards. You can manage the contact. The bigger thing is that you can actually request one of these cards by sending an email and you just do it like this. It will allow them to put their card information and it'll get stored in the card vault. So next, what I want to show, and this is why, this is why LawPay can essentially be integrated with any platform, any accounting platform that you use or any law practice management system that you use is that in order to send a bill, you just send a link. You just send a link to your client and they wind up going to your secure page here or they use this email payment page and they can easily pay your bill. So if you were to put this link and it would be your link, not my, not my test link, but if you were to put this link onto a QuickBooks invoice, a zero invoice, or something that was coming out of your law practice management system, it would send your client to here and they'd be able to pay through law pay. And so even without having direct integration, law pay has um, kind of fundamental ability to integrate with, with most anything. But they also, and I'd be remiss if I, if I didn't tell you, they also have a developer area that will allow you to create webhooks and actually integrate directly with their system using your own APIs or using some of your own systems. So basically many, many programs already integrate with LawPay directly, but if you don't integrate with LawPay directly, but there is an open API, you can usually make it do whatever you need it to do. But really because of that charge link and because of this charge page that you can actually put onto your website, LawPay will pretty much integrate with anything you have. So anyway, they have a lot more that you can do with LawPay, but I just wanted to give you a little, little idea. So I, I hope this helps. I hope you learned something and I will see you around the lawyer's ecosystem.